Hello everyone. In this video lecture, we are here with a very interesting question of group theory. So what make this question a, a bit interesting is this Z11. What the question is, you have a 2 by 2 matrices and you have to find its inverse but on Z11. And this makes the question a bit interesting. Otherwise, uh, it is a very simple question. Okay, we have to find the inverse in this group. Okay, so note the fact that use multiplication modulo 11 and sorry, addition modulo 11 and multiplication modulo 11. Okay. For addition, you have to use this notation and for multiplication, you have to do these things because Z11 is here and you have seen earlier that that uh, ZP were uh, defined, uh, ZP were group in terms of addition modulo and in terms of multiplication modulo as well. So you have to use addition modulo and multiplication modulo. You don't have to use the simple addition and simple multiplication. So be aware of this. Now uh, we have to find the inverse of A. So given matrix is what? A which is 2, 6, 3, 5. All right. So first of all, you have to find the determinant of A. Okay. Why? determinant of a at first if your determinant would be zero then we don't need to do anything more why because if your determinant is zero this means this matrix is non-singular then how can you find the how can you find its inverse so if its determinant would not be equals to zero only then we will be interested in so what the thing is two multiplication modulo 11 5 all right this into this and minus this into this all right because how you expand the determinant this into this into this into this minus this into this but here let me write the thing here 2 5 za 10 but 11 is greater than 10 therefore simply it would be 10 and minus 6 into 3 3 into 6 is 18 so 18 divided by 11 then what the remainder is the remainder is 7 all right okay so minus 7 but we have told you that we have to take the binary operation as addition modulo 11 or multiplication modulo 11. So this is minus 7. Minus 7 means what? This is minus 7 means additive inverse. Inverse of 7. What does this mean? Additive inverse of 7. The, because minus sign is here. So we can write it as how? 10 addition modulo 11 4 all right why because we have to take the binary operation like this okay so this you can write here 3 no matter but in actual calculation this sign represents the additive inverse and so we should write like this in a proper manner however if you will uh, do this 10 plus 14, 4 is 14 and if you will divide 14 by 11, then you will get the remainder as 3. So from here you are getting the fact 3 and from here you are getting 3. So it does not matter but what the really things has happened is this. Minus 7 represents the additive inverse of 4 and therefore we can write this in a proper way like 10 addition modulo 11 4 and finally you are getting 3 which is certainly not equals to 0 all right so this is not equals to 0 therefore a inverse exists in zl to z11 okay so 
this exists so now what is the formula for a inverse certainly you know adjoint of a upon determinant of a okay the same formula so now for adjoint of a so again let me recall you the facts your a is what 2 6 3 5 so for adjoint matrix adjoint matrix adjoint of a what you used to do cofactor of a ka transpose means we have to find the cofactor of a and then take its transpose so first of all what is the cofactor of a so 2 here is the plus sign so cofactor of 2 is 5 and cofactor of 6 is what minus 3 because plus minus minus plus is the sign this would be minus 6 and this would be what plus 2 but we have to take the transpose of this and therefore this becomes what 5 minus 3 and minus 6 2 therefore there is a trick whenever you have to find the adjoint in 2 by 2 matrix then just interchange these two things means 5 comes here 2 goes there and in this case just change the sign means here is the plus then make it minus here is the plus then make it minus you have to change the sign so finally your adjoint of a is what 5 minus 6 minus 3 and 2 all right and upon what is the determinant of a certainly it was 3 again you have to become a bit careful why because here are some minus sign here but we have only addition modulo 11 and multiplication modulo 11 as the binding operation are you seeing the facts okay so from here we don't have any problem with 5 uh, let me write here but here is minus 6 so minus 6 is the additive inverse of 5 minus 6 is the additive inverse inverse of 5 is this or not okay so minus 6 represents the additive inverse of 5 because 5 addition modulo 6 uh, sorry addition modulo 11 6 is what 0 so here in place of minus 6 we can write what we can write 5 in place of minus 3 we can write what 11 uh, sorry 8 because 8 is the additive inverse minus 3 is the additive inverse of 8 so this represents 8 here and this is 2 all right again this is simple division but we will not be interested in simple division we have to find the multiplicative inverse of 3 so what would be the multiplicative inverse of 3 certainly the multi multiplicative inverse of 3 means 1 by 3 means what it should be 4 why because in what sense we are writing this there is a sense in behind this because 1 by 3 is the multiplicative inverse multiplicative inverse inverse of 3 and what be, be what will be the multiplicative inverse of 3 which is 4 why since 3 multiplication uh, multiplicate uh, question modulo 11 4 is going to be 1 therefore for 1 by 3 we will write 4 here so 4 okay multiplication modulo 11 into 5 5 8 2 now I think you are getting all these things okay so from here what would it, it be 4 multiplication modulo 11 5 4 multiplication modulo 11 5 okay all right 4 multiplication modulo 11 8 and 4 multiplication modulo 11 2 
So finally, you will get what? 4 fives are 20 and 20 divided by 11. Then remainder is what? 9. 4 fives are 20, 20 divided by 11. Then the remainder is 9. Is this all right? And 4 it's the 32 and 32 divided by 11. Then you will get what? 32 divided by 11. Then you will get what? 10 as the remainder and 4 to the 8 divided by 11. So 8 is a smaller than 11. So simply write it here. So this is the required A inverse. All right. Any problem? No problem at all. Okay. So here you should be careful. Okay. Because addition modulo 11 and multiplication modulo 11 will be taken as the binary operation. I think you may have some uh, doubt in this case. So you should understand the meaning of what is 1 by 3. 1 by 3 is the multiplicative inverse of 3. And what would be the multiplicative inverse of 3? It is certainly 4. Because 4 uh, multiplication modulo 11 into 3 is going to be 1, which is the identity with respect to multiplication. Therefore, for 1 by 3, we have written 4. That's why I was saying 1 by 3 means 4 in this case. In this sense, okay, because you cannot do ordinary division here. You cannot do ordinary subtraction here. Therefore, you are taking this minus 7 as the additive inverse of 7. And what is the additive inverse of 7? So, additive inverse of 7 means what? There should be a number by applying addition modulo 11. If you are going to get 0, that would be the additive inverse of 7. And that is what? 4. Why 4? Because... 4, 7 addition modulo 4 uh, addition modulo 11 4 this is going to be 0 0 is the additive identity and therefore minus 7 represents the additive inverse of 7 which is nothing but 4 all right so you sh you must be careful and then if any question of this kind, some question may become in Z7, Z11 and things related to that, things like that. So you can do, you can find the inverse like this and I hope you have enjoyed this one. Okay, so we will meet in the next video lecture. Till then, thanks a lot. And one more thing, uh, you may put your own doubts or your own thoughts uh, on uh, uh, our email ID which is given in the description box of this channel or maybe in the description box of this video lecture as well. Okay. So, okay. Bye.